If you're a QuickBooks user, then chances are you've already imported most of the projects you use right from your QuickBooks data file. You can take a look at a list of the projects you've already entered into the system by going to the Management Project List screen. The Project List screen is actually a half dozen separate reports that we call Views and you can select a different view by changing the view selection on the left hand side of the screen. Each view gives you a different type of summary. I can select the project cost to date view like this. Then I can click the go button to update the information I see here on screen. Big time ships out of the box with a half dozen different views. So take a look at the system guide for more information on each of them. If you're just looking for a specific project, the project list view is a good place to start. Each project on this page has its own mini website called a project dashboard. You just need to click on the project's name in the list in order to pop up the dashboard for that project. We'll come back and take a look at the dashboard later. Right now, we're going to get started along the critical path by adding a brand new project to the list. To do that, we'll click the Add Project Menu item in the Management menu. Before we do anything else, we need to tell the system what client this project is for. If this were an existing customer, then we could just pick that customer from the list at the top of the page and click the Next button up there. We're going to create a brand new customer, so we need to fill in the information at the bottom of the page instead. Every customer in the system needs to have at least a name and an ID. The ID is like a ticker symbol for the customer and it needs to be unique. All this other information is optional, but we can fill it in now since it's convenient. Once we've got the customer information into the system, click the Next button to keep going. The system sends us to the Add Project screen automatically. We're required to give our new project at least a name and an ID, but all the other information on this screen is optional. In fact, we've set up our system to automatically number our projects, so I don't even have to fill that in. I can just enter a name and then click the Next button and BigTime will create my new project automatically. When our project is created, the system forwards its dashboard automatically. The dashboard is like a mini website for the project. It has its own menu along the top of the screen and you can use it to see any of the information you create or enter on this project going forward. Once a project is set up, your staff can start to enter time or expenses against it. None of the other information in the project dashboard is required. However, most firms add at least a project team and a budget, and it may make sense to explore these screens before you move on to tracking time and expenses.